What if I told you that you can play PUBG Mobile, Lineage 2, and edit some photos on Lightroom, all for the grand price of $99 on this Chromebook? It's pretty hard to believe, right? Because I know, I know a lot of you guys have a hard time believing it because in a previous video, the comment section was just, uh, <laughs> but it is possible. And I'm Alex of Sipnotech, and we are here to review that Chromebook. This is the Technio 11.6 inch Chromebook, and it can do all that, all that stuff that I listed because of one thing, one reason. And we're gonna talk about that reason right now. This Chromebook is the cheapest laptop I have ever bought to date. I purchased it from Walmart brand new for $99. And as you can see, this Chromebook has a red plastic lid that has a little bit of texture on it to make it feel just a tad bit less, well, cheap. The beauty of running Chrome OS is that regardless of hardware specifications, most Chromebooks will give its users a terrific web browsing experience. We get that here as pages load at a respectable pace, and with the current universal Chrome OS UI, it feels like a more premium experience than it really is. That's the beauty of Chrome OS. Budget devices have always been a catering point for this platform, and this is no different. So I thought I needed to address this because a lot of you guys were confused. So a couple, uh, like about a month ago, PUBG Mobile came out, right? And I wanted to test it out on a Chromebook and I knew I wanted to do it on a Chromebook and I have a lot of them, but I decided to do one on this one because this was a $99 Chromebook. And I thought, wow, that's an awesome combination if I can get PUBG Mobile to work on a $99 Chromebook. What, what limitations are there, right? So uh, I went to the Google Play Store, downloaded it, and it worked. And I shot a video of me playing it. Um, and a lot of people were confused. They were asking me, what, how did you get this to work? Did you run an emulator? What, what emulator are you using? What, um, did you hack it? Did you, um, is this GeForce Now? Is this using Wine? And in the video, I actually pulled up the Google Play Store and I showed how to download it. You just literally type in PUBG Mobile and you download it from the Google Play Store. And I guess a lot of people were still confused uh, about that. So I do want to tell you that yes, Google, Google actually has their Play Store, the Android Google Play Store on Chrome OS. And the Play Store is the great equalizer for budget Chromebooks. On the surface, there isn't much flair for excitement. It contains a 1.8 gigahertz quad core rock chip for a processor, four gigabytes of RAM, and only 32 gigabytes of flash storage. It's as it sounds, not too impressive. On one side, you have a USB 2.0 port and an HDMI one. That's also where you're gonna plug in the AC adapter to charge this battery. It didn't last too long for me streaming movies on Plex and casually browsing the web. Probably, I would say, an average of seven to eight hours. That, that sounds about right. The standby life isn't good either. The other side of the laptop gives you a micro SD card slot for additional storage, another USB 2.0 slot, and a headphone jack. I have to say, the Technio Chromebook does cover a lot of basic bases to make this at least a feasible horse for some folks. Although I mainly use this to stream movies onto my projector, the built-in display, however, is okay for what it is. It's small at 11.6 inches, so it only pushes out 720p. There isn't much to say about the display except that it's just kind of there. But I will comment that it is at least viewable compared to $250 Chromebooks in 2014. Those gave me a headache. This, well, it won't give you a headache if you look at it for a long time. The trackpad is large. I like the size of it, and I was pleasantly surprised at how effective it was. When you don't cringe using a laptop's trackpad and at a $99 price point, it's a huge win. The same goes for the typing experience on the keyboard. The keys are slightly more mushy than I'd like, and there really isn't much travel, but it's not the worst I've typed on, and definitely one I could type on for a long period of time. So what makes this Technio Chromebook attractive at all? Well, the $99 price point and the ability for it to have the Google Play Store. They go hand in hand in making this a very unique package. Because if you think about it, $100, you can't even, you really can't even get a laptop for $100. You really can't. And for the, for a Chromebook of this stature, just four years ago, you paid about $200 
for a cheap plastic Chromebook with a bad typing experience, horrible screen, and yet people like me still loved it because it ran Chrome OS and Chrome OS is such a pleasant experience to use. I'm not gonna sit here and tell, tell you guys this is the best thing in the world because it definitely is not. And anybody saying that is fooling themselves because of the price point. But at $99, this is a great gateway into Chrome OS and the Google Play Store because not everybody has the Google Play Store on their Chromebooks. So if you can get your hands on this for $99, this is a great way to start and it actually works. It actually works pretty well. Once again, I'm Alex at Septimus Tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if your Chromebook, what Chromebook you guys have, and if it has the Google Play Store. I'm curious to see how many of you guys have it out there because uh, it's been around for a while now. So I, you would expect a lot more people to have it by now. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!